Okay. Toad Thursday on the Toad Cam and the Toad Bunker in New Toad City. The Thursday Super Supplement. Figuring out people, figuring out people, reading people using meta programs. Michael Hall, Robert Bottenhammer, forward by Wyatt Woodsmall, figuring out people. Um, one of the NLP sub Bibles of this area called Meta Programs, which is how people organize their thinking. It's sort of like the computer code down in their thinking, more around the uh, machine language part of where your, your thought processes are at that are underneath all those layers of conscious thought that are directing and shaping and organizing the way you create thought syntax, the way you generate out, um, you know, sort of your feelings and your intentions and your interactions with the world and the way you listen to people and the way you process consciousness are very much shaped by these fascinating little sub bits called your meta programs. So I'm going to make a, I want to make an interesting leap here, a suggestive leap that all you guys out there in PUA land that are struggling with how to be a good PUA, um, the question keeps coming up, you know, they take a seminar, they do one of those various systems or those uh, seminars or they go out on an evening of coaching or sarging or whatever they call it. And uh, invariably the thing comes up, well, what do you, what, once you've got her attention, what do you say? You know, where, where do you go with that? And there are a number of different um, strategies for, you know, how do you then have a conversation? I would say use the power of questions. The, the, the power of questions is very important because um, questions then can be used to shape the way they go inside and do internal searches and uh, describe themselves, create a sort of a, you know, a self-portrait through, through question and answer. It's much, much easier to ask a few very artful questions that have implicit observations built into them. Um, for instance, uh, a really useful one is uh, Meta Program 49, self-instruction. Um, you know, is someone uh, tend to be very headstrong or are they a fairly compliant person? Um, and it's very interesting, straightforward. You know, one of the number of elicitation questions here is, can you be told something? Can someone tell you what to do? Um, you might be fascinated by the response. Look, if you're going to get involved at any level with a, a you know, a girl, um, well, two things are important. One is you really want to know what's going on with her because some people are really great matches and some people you can have a wonderful time with. If you know what meta programs work for you, you can very quickly qualify whether, you know, this is somebody I can get along with, this is somebody that I can have a really good relationship, you know, high quality, whether it's for a few hours, days, years, lifetime, or whatever. Um, you know, there's, there's a p potential for actually some kind of meaningful pleasurable back and forth with this person versus other types of people you want to be really really aware like that's one thing that the PUA stuff doesn't really teach you about is um, you know how many people out there might not be be either really not good for you or very problematic or very hard to get along with although you might be superficially drawn to them you know because they're just like stunning you know and they, 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 they might end up being one of the most psychologically um, psychologically traumatic experiences of your life that you find yourself drawn into somebody's stuff and then find their stuff is just out to freaking left field lunch. So it's really good to ask a lot of serious qualifying questions, but do them in playful, curious ways. Um, and uh, there is a nice section back here on um, all these ways to ask, just questions after questions, there are pages and pages and pages of questions you can ask about um, uh, questions for eliciting meta programs. The other thing is that you will have a lot more credibility if it appears, and if you do, have genuine interest in the person and you're making some effort to decide on this thing is like suitable or worthwhile doing. I mean, that, that shows a, a much higher degree of um, you know, precision in your thinking, a much higher degree of uh, intelligence, a much higher degree of selectivity and discernment. Someone that comes off as a very undiscerning, unselective, hey baby, just put them boobs in my eyeballs, you know, that, that does not seem to work very well. So what I do with this, if you guys are like a PUA self-help group and you know, you get together and I, I would say spend, get together like two hours, two hours in the evening, like Fridays, Friday nights every Friday for like 
two months or something for two hours and hang out and just bounce meta program questions off till you get these things down to the point where you like know them all and you can just run them just pull anyone out of the hat from any angle and you know ask well do you do you tend to sort by people places things or information you might not use the word sort but you say well what interests you more you know are you more interested in people are you more interested in places do you are you fascinated with things um do you like information um when you go buy something do you tend to think in terms of uh, time is your is time more important to you? Is price more important to you, or is quality more important to you? That might tell you a lot because if you're someone who's willing to spend all the time in the world going to flea markets and eventually getting a great deal, people that have lots of time can really save on price and they get a lot of quality. Somebody that really wants quality first and foremost, they have to have quality. They might be willing to sacrifice time. And they might be willing to sacrifice um, price. So someone who wants it now, you want it right now, it's got to be very high quality. You're going to have to pay a lot of money for it. Okay? If you want something, you want to get a great deal on it, you're going to have to spend a lot of time. Okay? And um, you're going to have to be willing to like look at a lot of different qualities you know, and sort of wait till something of the right quality falls into your hands. So just by knowing how people sort by time, price, and quality in that negotiation triangle will give you a huge amount of information. Like, see, I want quality, I want it now. And you're somebody that does not want to spend a lot of money on stuff, you know, and you don't want to like buy or something or have to do something that's really expensive because it's got to be just perfect. And you know that person is willing to spend whatever it takes and they want it this instant, and you're not that kind of type, that is not going to work. And if it's someone who is willing to spend lots and lots of time going through all the selections and negotiating and haggling and coming back the next day and then getting a great deal, totally different personality type. You know? And you can have a wonderful conversation with somebody just on the triangle of uh, time, price, and quality and in the negotiation model, the time, price, quality, negotiation model. So, um, you know, if you have this stuff, you, you can quickly take that PUA stuff and you can move it into a, a much deeper level of communication and get a lot more information that you can really use and they can use and you have a much better time. So I would say, yeah, learn your meta programs, get the book. Um, figuring out people, figure them out before they figure you out. <laughs>